Damn, Kodak. Clock in, clock in. Black Gotti just walked in. Mother on the beat. Team Black gotta stand up, man. Okay, sit y'all ass down, bro. You feel me? We in this video about to talk about Kodak. Now, we already know. I don't pretty much think everybody been on Kodak Black side lately. You feel me? And due to the fact he had these comments about Lauren, you feel me? And by the way, Lauren hasn't said nothing about it. She seems like she's not even impressed about the situation. She seems like she didn't even feel any type of way about the situation but as far as everybody else not everybody else just a couple people they kind of mad they really mad you feel me now they so mad to the point that Kodak has been going back and forth with T.I. pretty sure y'all already know every time I hear the word expeditious now all I think about is T.I. and Kodak you feel me and ever since I heard it from T.I. now everybody's just saying expeditiously expeditious my nigga, let's stop using that word for a minute, you feel me? Let's just stop. I don't get it. But we already know Kodak is just not been seeing nothing anybody been saying about him. He really don't care. However you feel, you can feel that way. It is what it is, pimp. But now, you gotta look at my man like this. Now, seeing him locked up is making me think. Why is he locked up? Matter of fact, I know why he's locked up. Usually when somebody is having beef with somebody else, nine times out of ten, you know when this man move, he's going to have some weapons with him. Period. Fact. And regular people are not the only people just watching this situation, guys. You feel me? We already know everybody's watching. And Kodak clearly put himself in a position where he got to move with that strap. You would be a fool not to move with that strap. But I can say the way he is moving with his strap is not the smartest way to move with that strap. I don't think so. So, this man actually just got locked up. A lot of people were pissed off he didn't make it to his show. He had fans cussing him out. Now, fans be just so quick to cuss people out, you don't even know the situation. Now, it's, it's not like he didn't want to come. He couldn't come. The man was locked up. And apparently, he was locked up because he got caught with weapons. And he also had a little bit of weed with him. Cops say Kodak and two others attempted to enter the U.S. at the Lewiston Queenston International Bridge in a Cadillac Escalade with the temporary California registration. They say Kodak was the driver and officers discovered weed on him after the further inspection of the vehicle. They also found a Glock 9 pistol which was undeclared by anyone in the Escalade. Now, first off, I just got one question. Now, my nigga got bread. You feel me? You should be having a driver drive. Now, why the hell do they got Kodak Black driving like he in a Fast and Furious movie or something? You feel me? Boy, you need some milk. The hell you driving for? But this man got locked up. He's now out on a $20,000 bond. And it's crazy. It makes people want to think, like, was this man set up? You feel me? Does this have something to do with all the situations he got going on? Or is he just being looked at because he got all these situations going on? But at the same time, Kodak, you're a little bit too hot out your boy. You need to summer down, boy. You need some milk. Boy, you feel me? You can't stay out of jail. Now he could go a couple of months without being in jail. Then boom, get locked up. Right back again. Now, my man say they don't want to see him winning. And clearly they don't want to see him winning. Because they're going to continue to find ways to get at this man. And he needs to continue to find ways to overcome these situations and not get into these situations. But let me know how you feel about the situation because I'm not done with that. Clock out, clock out. Black got it. Just walked out. Okay, I'm out here trying to get paid, but